Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here, and in today's CCNP Switch Video Boot Camp, I've got a classic little gotcha here for you in a live demo that we're going to jump right into, because I'm going to show you an exam question first that actually inspired this video, and I want you to see the question, but even if you know the answer to it immediately, stick around, because there's definitely something in the lab on live switches that you will want to see. Let's go ahead and bring the question up. You note an odd switch priority of 49,152 on one of your Cisco switches. This is an excellent indication that which of the following is running on that switch. And the choices given are uplink fast, port fast, loop guard, port guard, and backbone fast. So I'm going to show you right at the beginning of this lab which one of those it is, but definitely a classic gotcha here. Definitely threw me the first time I saw it. And I've also got a screen full of notes for you on the correct answer here you'll want to see as well. So right here I've got a couple of switches. We've got some uh, trunks going on between the two. The only VLAN I'm even running is the default VLAN. And we can see that this bridge is the root. There are other ways you can tell that. And if you're not familiar with four of them, you need to look up my You Might Not Be a Root Switch video on YouTube. It's good stuff. Now, let's see what the answer is. And then we'll see if this other stuff happens. It always begins with spanning. Because one of the hardest things to me, uh, especially on production network or when you're working with uh, labs, is remembering how to put some of the stuff into effect on the switch because these backbone fast, loop guard, uplink fast, port fast, it all starts with the word spanning or spanning tree, of course. So here, the correct answer is spanning uplink fast. And let me see, yes, this is exactly what I wanted to show you. Now, with, sh with uh, uplink fast, a couple of things are going to happen immediately. First off, you're going to see an odd priority. Now, this one has a priority of 49,153 because it's going to add the system ID extended feature value, and that will be the VLAN number. So I would expect to see 49,52 on the exam, but if it's a little higher or lower than that, they're talking about a different numeric VLAN. That's why it's not exactly 49,152. Now, you'll notice the cost here has shot up by 3,000 on each one of our ports. But what you'll also notice is that we're still getting the message, this bridge is the root, even though if this switch's priority is 49,153 and we left the other one at the default, which I did, you would think this wouldn't be the root bridge anymore. But while I've been talking, let's run show spanning VLAN 1 again, and you'll see that it is no longer the root switch. This message is not going to disappear immediately. And that's what I wanted to show you. So if you look at that in production or lab equipment, it says this bridge of the root is like, wait a minute, how can it be the, the root? You know, with this priority of 49,153. Well, give it a few seconds and it won't be. So those ports have already gone to blocking as we would expect. But look at that cost, 3019. And of course, if we go over to the other switch, I'll go ahead and verify that quickly. That this switch is the root. There are the trunking ports, 10, 11, and 12. And you also see we have no root ports, which, of course, you will never see root ports on the root bridge. So that is exactly what Umplink Fast will do. A couple of notes here for you now, because obviously you don't want to configure this feature on every switch in your network. Uh, what Cisco recommends is that you never configure this on the switches in the distribution and core layers because in a proper network, those your root bridges are going to be in there somewhere, probably in your core. You can't configure uplink fast on a root switch because if you do, we saw what happens, it's no longer the root. Also, uplink fast is all or nothing. It's enabled globally and for all VLANs on the switch. It sets the priority to 49,152 plus the system ID, the VLAN number. And as we also saw, it increases the port cost by 3,000, which makes it very unlikely that any other switch is going to use this switch to get to the root. So really, you're taking it out of the root switch, uh, root bridge picture entirely. So now you know the theory of uplink fast, and you've seen it in action. Come on out to the website. We've got an hour of my CCNP Switch video boot camp available for a free download. Plenty of additional Switch tutorials. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to check the box under the video. We've got links to plenty of additional free tutorials. I'm Chris Bryan, and thanks again for making TBA part of your CCNP success story.